And don't look at my nails, bro. I know you're looking. Don't look at my nails. I'm in the process of trying to pry them off. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And I know what you're already saying. Why am I in my bathroom? Really, my whole house <laughs> is being renovated. Um, unbeknownst to me, because I know I said in the last video I would see you soon, and now it's a whole month later, and here we are in my bathroom with the terrible echo. But something exciting is happening that I wanted to document, so here we are. I just wanted to say that in my last video, loved it. I think I did a lot of great things. However, I also do feel like there's a lot of things I left out, and um, a lot of things I wish I did better <laughs> and also I want to show you guys my hair close up without it being like freshly done um, this is I did wash it but I didn't do it because I'm actually going to a professional optician I'm saying professional like I know that but I'm going to a loctician <laughs> I said that with my whole chest I've been to her before just for a consult so she can um, assess my lock extensions see the quality of them because I was thinking about dyeing it but I got cold feet and I decided against it and I haven't been back to her since and she you know she took a look at my hair I don't know why I haven't been back and she's very close her prices are reasonable because remember when I told you guys I've been looking in around my area for a loctician but everyone is charging me upwards of $200 for a retwist. When it came to the question about price, I don't know. Yeah, and she does full services so why I haven't been back yet, I think I was just being cheap honestly. I think it was just the cheap in me. Yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys a close-up look. I, even though I communicated that to you guys, I didn't show you for real. My natural hair that grows out of my scalp is naturally very, I would like to say thin. Like, it has the illusion of being thick, but to the feel, to the touch, it's very thin. Okay, but wait, what I should have said was my hair is softer than the lock, and the lock is very dense compared to my natural hair just wanted to make that little clarification you can see a lot of my hair grows outside the lock you can see the little frizzy here i don't know if you could actually see but a lot of my hair grows outside the lock and i feel like that's something i didn't really talk about um because right like this my hair hasn't been retwisted in a month um i did that intentionally i was going to retwist it after i washed it but I didn't only because I was always talking about like I want to get my hair done, I want to get my hair done. There are important life family events that are happening soon. So I was like, you know what? Yeah, let me just do it. I was just looking for an excuse and I got one. So yeah, I'm going to cough it up. It doesn't seem like very thin, but I promise you it feels that way. It feels very thin. You can see my finger through it. So, and like, especially with this one, sorry, it is so hot in this bitch. Um, let me show you, I want a good one that's fraying. I want to show you a close up of the fraying. A lot of my locks are doing really well. As you can see, like this one, these ones in particular are doing really well. They're very consistent. They are like fuzzy or whatever, but they're pretty consistent. They're doing very well. You can see the growth. This one's on my nape. So... They're doing very well, most of them. You can see the fraying. I have some that are a little worse than that, but you can see the fraying in between. And like, it's a lot worse when you feel it. You can feel that it's literally being held together by a piece of floss. Like that's how thin it is, like right in between. It doesn't look like it, but it feels like it. And you can see the significant fraying of where my hair ends and where the lock extension starts right here. And if you were to feel it, you could feel the, the in-between and how little there is really there. And you can see this hair just starts to pull away and I don't, I don't want to say reject, but reject for lack of better words. And you know, just it wants to be its own little lock. If it was by itself, I'm sure it would come together a lot nicer but because 
it was being crocheted or I don't I'm not sure of the actual process but because it was being put into the lock extension it is just like pulling away from it like a lot of my locks are doing really well they're doing well most of them it's just like a few of them they just aren't doing as hot I told you guys the story of how it's just thinner over here than on this side so, but you can see this is what my hair looks like a lot of the time like yes a retwist is nice but my hair looks like this a lot of the time and my whole plan was to have my hair and do minimal effort the plan going forward is not even to do a retwist every month i'm thinking every other month and go to my loctician for maintenance because it's about as much i would i would be spending on like products and clips to do them myself of course i'm still gonna have my products at home if i want to like spruce up the front or something that is the plan so just stay tuned this is not the ideal <laughs> setup i had going but this is what i got i maybe should do a length check because i talked about how much my hair grew and this then the third so i'm gonna do a length check i've got all my nails off a middle part just like how i got it done my hair was mainly bra length um it didn't go much further than this i feel like the front looks pretty much the same because i am woman just to keep in mind when i first got my lock extensions my hair was about like bra length I'm learning to live my hair without a retwist and have it in its more natural state. Hopefully, I could get a haircut because my hair is getting long. But I wear my hair up a lot, but that's mainly a sensory thing. I told you guys I don't like hair on my back or on my shoulders. My hair is getting heavy. A lock extension to natural hair ratio. My lock extension is weighing down my natural hair. Not super heavy, but it's getting heavier. I didn't think it was going to get this long this quick. And I feel like... I would have got it shorter knowing that my hair was going to grow this fast but I am going to see about a haircut because maybe she can blunt cut them because I mean I'm going to follow this up with when I get my hair done I put my cousin on she won't tell you that though I'm pretty confident in going back to her I'm really excited because I'm close to positive that she's going to be my primary loctician so. This is my first time I've did rope twist on my hair. So I'm surprised it took so well. Look at my edges. It's giving to be. I hope it lasts. Well, it should last at least another week for my friend's birthday. So I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna keep my hair tied in between. But I'm really happy, really satisfied with my experience. I had really good conversation as well. It was very educational as I told you guys before very transparent you know um it was just as i was expecting okay i just quickly wanted to check in back with you guys um my edges didn't really hold up <laughs> i took a nap she used like slime jam and slime jam's known for not holding up Ooh, look at my edges and i use gorilla glue and gorilla glue is known for being really harsh so i mean i just used it for my edges though because i'm gonna be in a hot space i'm gonna fix this but i just redid it and tied my hair down i don't know if you can see the lines 
I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix it, I promise. And I think it will do fine as long as I continue to wrap my hair when I go to sleep, which is the plan. So, off to a good start. I'm satisfied with my results still. And yeah. I'm currently at Toronto Island. Cute little bikes on my hair evaluation. She said my hair was very well done and my hair was keeping up nicely and my my personal locks that are growing out of my head like I don't know how to differentiate my hair like on its own was doing great it was in great condition the relationship my hair has with the lock extensions it's really good she said from the looks of it it looks good it looks great which made me happy because I really didn't do anything special I didn't do anything extra I wasn't manipulating my hair too much I really really just left it alone and made it do its thing and it thrived and continues to thrive so i'm really happy about that that's great news for me but yeah my hair is still keeping up i'm in love with this look i am definitely gonna go back again i'm going back and she will become my primary hair care person i would give you guys the details because you guys are wondering like why am i not saying where i went only for safety reasons as well as I did not get permission to share that with you. I did get permission to film, but she did ask that I don't show her face. She is on Instagram and she does her own promotions, so I'm not just going to put it out there. And I also don't want you guys to wrongfully associate everything I like my content with just going to her or you know, her work. So I don't think I will not not as yet maybe in the future I'm not saying I never will but for now I'm not going to for safety reasons first and foremost and um, privacy reasons secondly because I again didn't get permission so I hope I can continue to make content you'll come back and enjoy subscribe if you like what you saw and I'll see you in the next one